Well, I picked this up for uh, well, radio programming. It looks in pretty decent condition. It is a Toshiba 1910CS200, which means it's supposed to have a 200 meg hard drive. No battery, though. Uh, and it uh, normally has a mouse that hangs off the side. Set this down. Normally it would plug in right there and the trackball kind of hangs off the side. Didn't come with that. And I was going to try using a mouse on it, but uh, yeah, that didn't work out either because I didn't couldn't find my adapters for PS2. Um, and uh, I was thought this might be the hard drive slot here. That's not actually the case. It's a, you can see in there, it's a PCM CIA slot. Anyways, uh, the big reason I got it is because real serial port, and, uh, well, that's basically why I needed it. Um, so, uh, let's, whoops. I got a power adapter here that's a 19-volt one. This says it needs less than that, so let's see what happens. It says it needs 18. Let's see what, oh, look at that. We got uh, got something happening there. That's awesome. Now well, let's uh, open it up. I do have a mouse. Because um, I think these came preloaded with Windows and it's gonna want a mouse otherwise. I don't need to screw it on. Uh, okay, let's see. Open it. And let's see if we can zoom there. There, that should be better. Everybody can see everything now. Uh, where's the power button? Oh, here it is. Looks in pretty decent condition. Huh. Yeah, and the display is that shitty. It's, uh, hey, starting MS-DOS, okay. Hi, Mem. So it's got extended memory. Cool. Phoenix card. Ultra font. Oh, my God. It's got the original install of Windows 3.11 on it. This is too cool. Closer here. I wonder if team viewers still. Hey, look at that! The mouse works. You can barely see it. What is this? What the hell is max time? Close. So it's got a printer virtual guide on it. better. Wow. It's got card manager. Uh, screensaver, tools, main. there's no version of top or anything for this or it shows you what's going on let's see what the, what the perfect has here it looks like somebody actually used this damn thing I'm just filming this on my phone because I just got home from being out of town and eh, you know what I mean. Got a new phone too, so got to try it out. 
Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of a gradient on here. It's not horrible though. Okay, let's see. File. Wow, look at that. There's stuff in here. Um, open. This is hilarious. Well, looks like somebody was actually using this mainly for word processing. So, what was the one that was open? File tenure.word perfect. Probably a lawyer or something if it's word perfect. Boston College of Arts and Sciences. Looking for a promotion. Page down, pick up, uh, James M. O'Toole, 29 Garfield Road, Milton, Massachusetts. There's a date on here. Um, let's see, 1998 to present, 1999, so this looks like about a 2000 vintage or so. Um, wow, this is old. Pretty cool. Looks like it was owned by a professor. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all his files because I really don't care. Um, I got this to program radios with. So, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. You just boot it up and uh, there you go. Um, the uh, Back up here, the, the keyboard actually looks in pretty decent condition, too. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It was like, I don't know, 40 bucks or something. I don't have a battery. I don't know where to get that. And there's a little thing where the trackball would attach to. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, I got it for being able to program radios. And uh, it does that pretty well. Let me uh, let's see. Kentaro Alt. Pick up, delete. Okay, let me hit that. Uh, let's see if I can. Nope. Trying to get into the BIOS on it. I don't know how to do that. Strange. Uh, it probably is some weird key combination for it, but anyways, hey, little Toshiba, and it's even got a color screen. This was probably the high-end, several thousand dollar machine when it came out, I would imagine. 200 meg hard drive. That's pretty cool. And uh, I believe, well, actually I did my research. I know you can disable the cache on this, which is very important for the particular piece of software I want to run on it. 